Well, as we are marking International Women's Day, well, the theme, of course, being International Women's Day as women in leadership achieving an equal future in a COVID-19 world. The theme celebrates the tremendous efforts by women and girls around the world in shaping a more equal future and recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. So let's talk now to Sinamile Masango, who is nuclear scientist and founder of the Sinamile Masango Foundation. Uh, happy Women's Day to you. Thank you so much, and thank you for hijacking me. <laughs> yes. All right, yeah. We are in charge of you now. So, firstly, you should be asking yourself, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's uh, this day we're celebrating it, but, but what does it mean to me? Tell us about that. Uh, it means to me, as women, we are capable. Remember, not so long ago, the place of the woman was a kitchen. Not so long ago, the place of a woman was to take care of the child, take care of the husband. Not so long ago, the only thing that a woman can do was, was to take care of the household. Now you have people like my Khalifa, who are, um, I don't want to refer myself as young because this year <laughs> I'm turning 34, but okay, I'm young and coming from a deep rural area. Uh, I am a scientist, and I know my place. That women, indeed, they don't they don't belong in the in in, in the kitchen. The women of 2020, they belong to a, a lab. Uh, women of 21, they belong to research lab. I was just inspired lately by, as we all know, that uh, NASA had a project of uh, called Perseverance, of which Perseverance was a robot. And he, she, he, she was sent. I want to refer perseverance as a she because women, uh, we break barriers, you know. So she, perseverance, the robot, landed in Tomas. Check this one out. Uh, the, 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 the person who was leading the whole project was a woman, and it, it, it just inspired me. And I remember. Uh, calling all my friends that I know that they have uh, uh, kids who are girls. I was like, no way, uh, please, your girl must, m m must watch this thing. Because I remember even myself, I was inspired by Mark Shackleworth uh, not so long ago. So he is the one who <clears throat> he inspired me in the path that I'm in, you know, as a scientist. And again, we've seen a lot of women who are in the forefront, you know, uh, trying to find a solution and now we know that uh, we now know as a society that there, there is the the, the the role of science that can play in our society as while we are waiting for scientists to solve solutions for us and i would like to encourage women who would let not just fold our hands let us be part of it and be part of the solution and i said earlier on that women the place in the woman is at the lab thank you so much yeah so Sinamila, when we mark this day and uh you know try to reflect on what has been happening to women developmentally and progressively should we look at the failures and uh, the challenges that women have been facing, the, the prejudice, the, the hurdles and hindrances that women face from day to day as they strive to be successful, but having someone or the system stopping them to get to the other side? Uh, there are a lot of barriers, but where there is a barrier, you don't see it as a barrier, you must see as something that you can use, you know, it's just like a stepping stone. A stepping stone. I remember back in the days when I was doing my undergrad, I had no role models. I had to become a role model by myself. I also remember in some of the classes, especially in my undergrad, in, in my undergrad, you will find that I was the only woman. And some men, jokingly, they will say, "Tall and fast," you know, this is not for women. This is not for women, you know, because uh, the undergrad of physics it's very very tough. And us as women, we are very emotionally. So the thing is, we were as we were discouraged at an early age, you know, 
even when you in terms when you want to choose your career, they will ensure that they will discourage girls to take part of science, to take science subjects, you know. So now, as Senamile, I have a foundation called Senamile Masango Foundation, and I also have um, an NGO that, that encourage women, that you before women, then say, uh, please come and join science. You know, I'm trying to bring all other women up with me. I want the women of color to, to reflect to my story, you know. I attended a I didn't. I, I didn't go to a, pub, a private school. I attended a pri public school, just like anyone else here in South Africa. So uh, I want girls to relate in my story that a girl of Omnongoma is now an international brand. You know, my brand is very. It, it's recognizable at the international space. I remember not so long ago that the director general of the IEAI recognized me, and that was very big for me. I was like, oh my God, you know, to get such a recognition in an international, you know, uh, uh, organization. So it will inspire a lot of girls. And again, when you ask a young girl if they can draw a picture, of a scientist, they will always think of, 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 a, of a man, you know, they will always think of a, a person who's not of my color. So I'm here as Senamile Masamo from Guanongoma. I'm saying that girls relate to my story. And I know that it's not easy, but us as women, there's nothing that we cannot do. I'm being remembered by the women of 1956 who fought for this country. So I know us as women, they always reduce us, you know, at all costs, but, but just stand. Know that you are not just there. You know, you are presenting all other women and the other challenges that I've seen that us women, we don't support each other. You need to support each other like men. They always support each other. They got each other's back. So why can't we do it as men? Mm -hmm. And again, the things of excellency, us as women, I think we excel better on our, our own paper. We are doing very, very well as women. Okay, so it's Mila? now our time to lead especially during this this pandemic and be part of the solutions not be, not becoming the part of the problem thank you all right senamile we, we thank you so much uh, you didn't sound like anybody who is hijacked and uh, you really uh, made time to speak to us and you elaborated very well so consider yourself free you are no longer hijacked okay I am free now. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank all right. you so much. Senna Mille, thank all right. You so much. Happy International Women's Day to all other women in South Africa. We can do it. Thank you for having me. Message well received. Senna Mille Masango, who is uh, the CEO of the Senna Mille Masango uh, Nuclear, well, of course, she's a nuclear scientist speaking to us right here on SABC News.